Hey guys, this is my friend Shane, who is a stellar, phenomenal guitar player. And today he is going to help me out as I show you some miking techniques for the acoustic guitar. So first we're going to talk about mono miking the acoustic guitar. That's when we mic the acoustic with just one microphone, like we have here. We have a small diaphragm condenser here. This is the Audio-Technica AT2021, but it's equivalent to most small diaphragm condenser microphones. Oftentimes people record acoustic guitar with a small diaphragm condenser because it has a higher frequency pickup. So that's going to give you a little brighter sound and help an acoustic guitar kind of cut through your mix a little more to add some top end when you have other elements that cover the low end like bass guitar, kick drum, even some pianos and synthesizers and things like that. So probably the most common way to record a mono acoustic guitar is going to be a small diaphragm condenser. My first method for recording a small diaphragm condenser is to place it right where the neck meets the body. So what you're gonna do is bring that mic in and try to get it pointed right where the neck and the body meet. And depending on how well treated your room is, you can come further back and get more of a roomy sound, or you can mic closer. I, by default, mic a little bit closer just because I wanna get that pure acoustic guitar sound. So what we're gonna do is look right where that neck meets the body, and we're gonna try to go right in the middle of it too. If you come up higher, you're gonna get a little bit lower sound because you're closer to your fatter strings. If you come down lower, you'll get a little bit higher sound because you're closer to your thinner strings. Right in the middle is gonna typically give you the most even sound. So I'm gonna let Shane play a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like right there. Cool, so that's the small diaphragm condenser pointed right where the neck meets the body in the middle. Now, you'll hear that if we move this mic further this way, our sound gets brighter and brighter. And if we move it further that way, our sound gets lower and lower. So I'm actually gonna have him play and I'm gonna move the mic as he's playing so you can hear the way the sound changes. So again, you're going to get your lower, richer sounds closer to the body, your higher, thinner, more cutting sounds closer to the headstock. That is about the extent of mono miking a guitar. The only difference would be is if you use a different kind of microphone. And the other microphone that will often be used in a mono miking scenario is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. So we're going to take a second here and switch mics and then we will show you mono miking with a large diaphragm condenser. Okay, so this is also mono miking the acoustic guitar, but this time with a large diaphragm condenser microphone rather than a small diaphragm condenser. So again, I'm going to point it right where the neck meets the body and we're going to let Shane play a little bit so you can hear the difference in the sounds and I'll put up a little bit of an AB so you can hear the difference between the two side by side here in a minute. So as you can hear, the large diaphragm condenser microphone has a fuller, more full-bodied sound than the small diaphragm condenser. And you might think automatically that a fuller sound is a better sound. That's not always true in the context of an actual mix. When you're recording guitar by itself, like in just a guitar vocal or something, maybe you do want that full-bodied acoustic sound. But sometimes that can get a little muddy in the context of a whole band. And so that small diaphragm condenser can be a preferable method for recording to have it bite through and punch through that mix a little bit more and really be real nice and rhythmic and, and bright. The only other thing I might do if I were mono miking and I really wanted a really warm sound with a large diaphragm condenser is I would move the mic down kind of where the bridge sits 
and you got to be careful with this because you don't want to put it so close that he's going to hit it when he's playing. So you got to kind of work with your player. But if you'll put it down more towards the body, you're going to get just a really deep, really like full low end sound. So we'll take a listen to what that sounds like. All right, and so that is mono miking the acoustic guitar with a large diaphragm condenser. And that is probably the lowest, fullest sound you're gonna get, depending on what guitar you're using. It might be lower, it might be brighter. There's differences in the guitars, but for the most part, that's about the way to get the warmest guitar sound with one microphone. Next, we're gonna show you how to stereo mic an acoustic guitar using both the small diaphragm condenser and the large diaphragm condenser. Okay, so our last acoustic guitar recording technique that we're going to talk about today is stereo miking. And in this stereo miking situation, we have our large diaphragm condenser down by the body to pick up all that warmth and lowness. And then we have our small diaphragm condenser. And this time I'm going to point it at about the 12th fret. So that's a little bit left of where the neck actually meets the body where we were before but it's gonna give us a little bit of that brighter sound. So we're really looking for the best of both worlds here. The really nice low stuff and the really nice high stuff. And we're gonna do those on a stereo track in Logic and it's gonna to form together to give us a really nice full bodied sound. Now, the one trick to recording stereo mic acoustic guitar is that you need your mics to be what we call equidistant from one another. That means that the distance of this mic from the guitar and that mic from the guitar need to form a triangle where this distance is about half of this distance. Now, you don't have to get out a measuring tape and measure that every single time. You can actually listen. And if it sounds real thin or it sounds real, um, if you just, it doesn't feel like you're hearing all the frequencies, that means your mics are out of phase. And that means that they have not been placed properly. But when they're properly placed, you're going to get a nice, really full sound. So I'm going to just kind of double check our placement here. And then we will hear some more from Mr. Drouse. All right, go for it. And that is a stereo mic acoustic guitar using a large diaphragm condenser on the body pointed about at the bottom of the bridge and a small diaphragm condenser pointed at about the 12th fret on the neck. That's going to give you a really nice, really full sound, which again can be really nice if you're just doing a guitar vocal or maybe a guitar with some percussion. If you're doing very simple tracks, a really full guitar like that can be really nice or if the acoustic guitar is your main instrument in your track. However, if you're playing with a whole band or you're recording a whole band, sometimes that full of an acoustic guitar can take up a lot of space in your mix and it can actually work against you. So sometimes it's better to mono record. Sometimes it's better to stereo record. You really have to think about what your final product is gonna be and how you need that acoustic guitar to sit in that mix to know what's gonna be your best bet in terms of recording. But that should cover the three most common ways to record acoustic guitar and should give you a lot of really good tips for recording acoustic guitar in your projects. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.